It all started last winter when I was appearing on National Public Radio's quiz show, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. And the subject, of course, was handmade sweaters for featherless chickens. Uh, yeah, I hate homemade sweaters. Oh, <laughs> They'd be itchy. Homemade sweaters are always itchy. No, they... Little did I know how my casual comments would needle the knitting community. Ravelry, the online mecca for knitters, was in a virtual uproar. Listening to Mo Rocca makes me itch was just one of the comments. To mend my tattered reputation, I decided to learn to knit. Because these days, I discovered, grandmas aren't the only ones who appreciate a good yarn. Knitting is not really a punishment. Knitting is not a punishment. It's don't, a privilege. Yeah, don't think it's hard. Once you start trying it, you think it's just so easy that you can do it with your eyes closed. Felix Telsey is a 10-year-old knitter. He's been knitting ever since he was nine. This is how you knit. You see this little hole right here? Mm -hmm. You stick your needle in the back, you wrap it around, and you see right here? You see that line? Sure. Make sure that's there, and you pull between there, and you pull this right off. Ah, right, that's right, okay. That's how you do one stitch. What inspired you to start knitting? Because, like, when I was like, watching TV, sometimes I get a little bored of TV. Like, I'm just saying, ooh, that looks so much, that looks cool what my mom's doing. No, like this. Felix was a good teacher and a gracious host. Do you want a lollipop? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's very nice. It's like going to the bank with my mother. You actually get lollipops? Yeah, they used to do that at banks. They still do. Oh, do they? Yep. Class over. I needed a mentor more my size. Take this needle. I found one in author Debbie Stoller. I think what you're realizing, even though you're getting quite good at this, is that knitting's not quite as easy as people who've never knit like to think. And no. I think it gives you a whole new respect for your grandma yes. or whoever in your family used to make things for you. Debbie explained that knitting is actually a cheap thrill. You don't have to spend that money going out drinking or buying cigarettes to smoke. You could just stay in or get together with some people and knit and yeah, basically have as much fun. It's a similar kind of a vice. You can get pretty addicted to it. Because it's pretty hard to drink and knit at the same time. It has been done, but it's dangerous. <laughs> don't tell me they're knitters drinking games. <laughs> well, I just, you know, friends don't let friends knit drunk. It, it can really become a problem. There's the really ugly sweater. Talk about draught stitches. It seemed like a safe time to bring up the controversy that had brought me here. Homemade sweaters are always itchy. My use of the I word. Can you clear something up? Homemade sweaters, are they more or less itchy than store-bought sweaters? It depends on what you make them out of. Um, if you make a homemade sweater out of some really, really rugged yarn that will last 100 years, some of that stuff can be pretty itchy. If you make it out of something softer like merino wool or even Angora, that stuff is going to be as soft as a baby's bottom. Meanwhile... From the few times I've seen Mo on television, he seems to me um, wound tightly, probably pretty much like myself. And so this just brings us back down to a nice, quiet, calm place. Yeah. Nuclear physicist and knitter Andra Asars was putting the final stitches on a surprise for me. When I worked in um, at nuclear power plants, I had an office, and at lunchtime for that 45 minutes, I'd go into the office and close my door and turn off the fluorescent line and turn on a desk lamp and knit. And when I came out of my um, office, the guys I worked with would swear that I was napping in there because it just takes the edge off the day uh, much like going for a walk, if you can, if you have the luxury of being able to do that at lunch. She's right. And I was hooked. And yes, I know, a hook is for crocheting, not for knitting. As for the offense that started the whole yarn ball rolling, a delegation from Ravelry ended up attending a taping of Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me in Chicago, surprising me with a purple pure merino cable knit sweater, the stunning creation of four different knitters, and not in the least bit itchy. I feel warm and non-itchy and really attractive. <laughs> and to think it all started with a gaff. Next time, I'll insult BMWs.